today I'm going to be doing a makeup book, testing out the opalescent palette. <laughs> Sorry, I had to make sure I said that right. From oh, I just hit myself. From BH Cosmetics. So I shared this in a haul on my second channel yesterday. But these are the gorgeous, gorgeous colors it comes with. So. I'm really excited to use this today and also it came with these little sets of makeup brushes so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my face makeup or do my face makeup and then we will get back to review the palette <laughs> I pretty much did all my face makeup except like contour and blush but I'm just gonna go ahead and start on my eyes so I'm using my standard Glamouflage heavy duty concealer which I pretty much use in all my videos so y'all should know what's up by now so just dab some you really don't need a lot of this but this palette is like lighter um, colors, less pigmented, so I feel like I'm going to need like a thicker kind of layer of this concealer in order for them to show up on my lid. So yeah, and we're just going to let this dry and I'm going to go ahead and do my face fake and contour. So we're finally ready to actually start with our palette. My ring light always reflects so hard on my makeup. But yeah, there's a lot of this. is like a very light, um, what's the one I'm looking for? Like pastel almost ish palette. I'm also going to be using all of the makeup brushes this came with which comes with a fluffy little crease brush, a eyeshadow brush, and then this looks like a, like a dense brush. I don't really know how to describe them, but <sighs> this is what we're working with. So we're going to start, obviously, in our blending area for our crease. And there's actually some really nice blending colors in this. So I think I'm gonna take, I want Step Between Charm and Stunner. So I'm gonna take Charm first and see how this blends out. Ew, it looks really nice. Honestly, y'all, if I go like a while without wearing makeup, sometimes I feel like I forget how to do it and I haven't worn makeup in like three days which really isn't that long but I still like question if I can still do makeup sometimes <laughs> so we're going to see today this is really 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 pretty blending color this might be my new go-to palette for blending so we're gonna put a little bit of that in the outer V as well just so that when we do put our darker color in, it's a little bit more blended. Pro tip, you know? Ooh, oh no. All right, we love this so far. All right. Next, we're gonna get our shadow brush, and this is the really hard part, because now we have to determine what type of look we wanna do. I really don't know. There's so many pretty like natural colors on half of this and then the other half is like really pretty purples which 
I love color, so my eyes are automatically drawn to that. This color called Magic is gorgeous looking, so I kind of want to have a little bit of that at least on my eye, like definitely. Um, for now though, this brush is honestly like a So I'm going to take actually a different eyeshadow brush and I don't know when the last time I cleaned my brushes was. I probably need to clean them soonish, but I just use my shadow switcher to just make sure there's no more other colors on there. And I think I'm going to take, I wanted to kind of take this purple color actually. I don't know why. But I want to have like a little bit of color, so we're just going to take this and kind of put it on our lid like this is the color we're doing. I'm just going to put it right underneath um, my first color. And see, basically we're just playing with this palette today as you should when you're doing a review Ooh. this color purple is gorgeous not even all right my freaking camera stopped focusing on me because i got really close to it but we're putting this kind of in our outer v and a little bit right underneath our lid. This is gonna look so pretty, I can already tell. Okay. All right, next we're going to go back to this brush and I'm gonna take, I kinda wanna use my finger with this low key but I'm gonna hold off on it for some reason there's so many shimmery colors I really want to use y'all <laughs> I hate having to choose all right we're just gonna take magic with my finger and we're gonna press this oh my gosh so gorgeous um into the center of my lid so it kind of blends out with the purple Hopefully y'all can see this. Look how gorgeous a color that is, y'all. Like, look at that. So pretty. All right, I love this. All right. This is like the sparkly purple I've been looking for. And I finally have it. And it's really nice pigmentation as well all right so I'm gonna take a little bit more of the purple um, that might have gotten lost and blend these two together as you see I'm kind of directing the purple into my inner corner as well because we kind of want the pop of the sparkle to be more in the center of my eye not at the beginning so it's like a smokier purplish type of look which I don't usually do anyone who's watched my videos knows I love having the sparkle in my inner eye corner and not like this so very very but I love how these two just blended together so effortlessly. I can't even say the word effortlessly. All right, I'm gonna blend out my crease with the purple. I'm not taking. I didn't add any color to it. I'm just blending to make sure everything is cohesive. purple again with this brush and we're going to go under underneath our eyes. Uh, I have to be careful 
helpful because I put myself in the eye a little bit too much doing my makeup. So I'm gonna blend a little bit of charm underneath as lightly as we can. Alrighty, I love it. Alright, so now I'm gonna do my eyeliner, put on lashes and mascara, and then show you guys my final eye look. Y'all, I still have so much struggle with putting on the lashes and, you know, I just don't wear them as frequently as I used to, but these are also like human hair lashes, so I don't know what it is about them. Also, my wing is like, is kind of throwing them off a little bit. Ugh, what? We got those on. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and fix my hair, finish the rest of my face, and then we're gonna do our final review. All right, you guys, here is my final look. Alright, so this is one of my favorite purple lip um, sticks, and it's in the color Vancouver from NYX, and I love using their soft matte lipstick. These are pretty much my go to lip products for most of my makeup looks. But I feel like it blends in really nice with the purple. Also, I'm wearing this Bobby Fox wig I reviewed on my channel yesterday on my second channel, which was an, actually an accident because I was really not expecting that my first wig today. But I really like it. So, yeah. And then there's my eyeshadow up close. I did end up adding a little pop of color in my eye corner and highlighting the rest of my face. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and make sure you guys subscribe for more looks. Bye, guys.